Oh, seven star citizens. PTU 324 is in wave one now, means it's not under NDA anymore. So let's get into and see at some footage. By the way, this was a real hot duck, not a vegan one. So what we are all looking for is how do our elevators work in our personal persistent hangars? That's how they do with this magnificent alarm that reminds you not to fall over those spots that you can as you retrieve your ship. Of course, it's the same thing using the ASOP. You have two of them in your personal hangars on two different sides. So oh, actually three of them because we have two hangars. You see one of the very back there and there is as well another ASOP there. One is just behind me and another one is on the other side where this other hangar elevator is here on the right hand side where you can spawn ships, vehicles. You can put on the libraries on your ship in your hangars so you don't need to go out to a outpost to do so. You can spawn your ground vehicles in here, put them on the parking spaces a bit on the side, keep them well off the border of the um, a hangar ship elevator and they'll be fine and they stay inside and you can load them right here and go wherever you want with it which is pretty pretty cool and a change that I looked very much forward to. Another big thing that came into place was decorations. Of course you can do many things with the decorations. I saw people putting chairs into the loading decks of them, attaching them to the grid and making a C1 into a personal Starliner, which I consider a really nice idea. For folks like me, we go out in the mountains and place the chairs there and have a look at the sunsets. Of course, there is a lot more you can do than just that. But the main testing focus in the end was on the holding missions and moving cargo from one place to the others. You have now missions that you can take under holding. This would be a starter mission down in Arkov, of course, complex. And it's basically similar to a delivery mission, but what you're supposed to do is picking boxes up from the cargo elevators and move them into your ship and bring to a designated area. So it can be multiple places where to do that, which obviously get better paid. And that's in the end what you are supposed to do. And it's pretty good because it enhances the gameplay at some point with those cargo elevators because they can't be easily be soloed anymore because so far, you were just flying out to Mo Microtex, Shubling 18, picking up as much gold as you have money for and fit your ship, and you would just fly back. There was no timing, no issue, no nothing to do to load those boxes into your ship. But by now, and you see this here just on the example of Samson's Sun, it's just waste that I'm moving, so I'm not really concerned of what I'm moving and to get actually pited for it. But when you are out at Shubling and you're moving your gold and you have to do this, you have to get to the panel, you have to open your ship, you have to move the boxes into your ship, you're vulnerable to attacks. Means you need, well, and sometimes you're just vulnerable to antennas. But what it actually means is you need to have a convoy you have to have an escort with ships that are protecting you in the air. You have to other people's on the ground that you protect you on the ground. Maybe have some snipers on the hills. And you need to have more than one person actually moving those boxes, especially considering you're arriving with a C2 at this place and you want to load 696 SU of gold. Of course, if these are 32 SU boxes, it's only about 21 of them that you need to move. But still, it's 21 you need to move. And... 21 times you're vulnerable to attacks because you're holding a max tractor lift or your multi-tool in your hand and while that's you want to be protected so transportation starts to become an operation right now and not just a solo job where you can do and we do another big leaps towards our mmo gameplay in star citizen which i consider really cool because it's one thing playing a lot of people playing at the same time then an MMO where people actually supposed to work together on creating um, operations to do the stuff that you can do in game and this is where we go with 324 and it looks very well and it's nice and it's greatly designed of course still some flaws we're still in alpha but it's absolutely lovely and finally we're in wave one awesome thank you devs for all the time you invested and what you're doing and that you're providing those skills for these games much appreciated with your hole, with your trades, with your stuff in your um, ship's body. You fly to the designated areas where you're supposed to go. You enjoy the time over there. 
and you're gonna land as graceful as you can obviously and then you get to unload your boxes and get ready for the payout for your mission most of the missions or any of the missions can be done via manually manual unloads but there are some places that are actually providing an automatic unload of the boxes these are logistical centers stations and cities but you need to pay for it and it takes a certain amount of time depending on the size and the amount of boxes that you're having till it's unloaded yet as a witness right now i'm doing it manually i pull it towards the elevator which is the big shaft back there and then i put it in it and then you lower your in the freight manager you lower your elevator and you confirm to complete your contract order oh okay okay first insights into 324 after now quite some time where us evocadis have been playing around with them and i'm very much happy that it finally got into wave one so the next step to be taken if this video was helpful please share like and subscribe and we see us in the world so seven